hello good morning you guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl kayla lachey for any of you guys that might be new i know i've gotten a little bit of new subscribers recently during this crazy time but i'm about to do my workout i know i still do my regular routines like i get up in the morning i put on a workout outfit because that's the thing that motivates me to do my workout because look i'm already dressed i'm not gonna waste a cute fit right so that's kind of like my little logic and if you guys are like me and you need a little bit of at-home workout motivation I just posted two at-home workouts both of them are basically no equipment necessary so the first one was a full body workout which is insane you can burn 500 calories at home no equipment necessary and then the second one which is my most recent is my at-home booty band workout and if you don't have booty bands you can still do the movement you're just not gonna have that extra resistance so I'll try to pop those videos in the cards and in the description box below for you. So before I do my workout, I know I'm talking really fast right now, but believe it or not, I need a little bit more energy throughout my day. And I'm trying my best not to always have, you know, coffee first thing in the morning. So shout out to Timmy for sponsoring this portion of the vlog because I've been recently trying out this bad boy, which is their greens super blend. And I don't know about you guys, you're gonna see in this video today, I don't eat enough greens. You can look back at my what I eat in a day. I just don't crave big salads anymore. It's just, I don't know. I just rather eat other things to be honest. So something like this is perfect for me in my lifestyle because it's packed with 13 different superfoods. Green superfoods that I'm just not eating. So I'll give you a little bit of a rundown on the ingredients. I love the ingredients list. Listen to this. The first thing is wheatgrass, chlorophyll, spirulina, Chlorella, spinach, broccoli, kale, kelp, rocket leaf, parsley, celery, grapeseed, and dandelion. Yeah, I don't eat any of that on a regular basis. So that's why I love having everything all in one. I can mix it with my smoothies, my oatmeal. I can pop it in with some juice or some water and mix it all up. I also like that this is vegan, obviously dairy free, which fits with my lifestyle. And it has a natural bit of energy from all of those amazing superfoods. So it's super important during this time that we focus in on our immune system and this is going to give us a little bit of an immune boost with just like the natural superfoods that are in this as well as helping us with our gut health and of course energy boosting. So I'm just going to mix it in here, keep it simple today and keep it light. This will be amazing in a smoothie. I'll probably put like a little recipe in the description box if you want to make this into a smoothie but today I'm going to go in with a little bit of orange juice. Give that a little shake. So I'm gonna add a spoonful of this and it smells like matcha, which is amazing. It's a matcha spirulina wheatgrass supplement. And I just love that it's natural. Okay, messy. It's a little bit powdery, obviously. Going with a little scoop of this. It's like green juice at home. That's why I love mixing it with orange juice. You could definitely do this with pineapple juice and even just add your own extra fresh juice if you have the time for that, just to bulk it up a little bit more. But if you're like me and you just can't get down a bunch of greens and you prefer to drink your greens, this is definitely the way to go. And the taste of it is really good. Like it tastes like, I would say more matcha versus the kelp and the very green, green stuff, if you know what I mean. Very, very, very good. If you guys are interested in checking out the Teeny Greens Super Blend, definitely check out the link in the description box below. I'm also going to throw a little coupon code down there for you dolls if you're interested in saving your money on your next purchase. So again, shout out to Teeny for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. I'm going to go do my workout right now. Hi, you guys. I'm fresh out of the shower. I've actually been editing for quite some time. Decided to do a little curly hair routine and I am so ready for my first meal of the day It is three something in the afternoon I've been working over there for some time chopping up some vlogs for you guys trying to keep you entertained and I was just thinking We should make some burgers. I had some patties in the freezer and then some fries in there as well So I'm gonna whip it together try to make it semi healthy looks about time for lunch This is actually my first meal technically today, so I'm going to Bake these 
and I have some burgers defrosting, so I'm gonna whip those up and try to make this unhealthy meal somewhat healthy so you guys will have to see how i put my burger together um, and i'm going to track it of course just so i know how much i'm eating oh also why does my pan always look so dusty like i swear i just bought this thing and it looks beat up i don't understand if you know you already know this is where it's at you guys Mm, mm, mm. And my patties are defrosted, so I'm gonna add some pink salt, black pepper to them, and I'm gonna use this color, this spice right here from Trader Joe's, the Roadhouse. It's a very interesting blend. I've used this before in my burgers, and I really loved it. It has coffee beans in it. Very unique, very delicious, nice and savory. I think this would be really good on popcorn also just a thought might try that out if I had some popcorn but I'm going to throw these in a pan with some olive oil and get these bad boys started mm -hmm. I'm obsessed burgers and tacos man I can eat that every day Got him! Topping time. I've got this beautiful avocado, little tomato that I need to use up. Instead of using a bun, I'm gonna use iceberg lettuce. I love doing lettuce wrapped burgers. It just adds a nice bit of crunch to it. And I have this vegan chow cheese. I've never tried this before. It's by the brand Filled Roast, and I have it in the creamy original, so I think I'm gonna melt a slice and try it, taste test it for you guys today. I really like the Follow Your Heart brand of cheeses, but this is all I could get my hands on, and it says it's made with tofu. This is what the cheese looks like. It's already sliced. It does smell like cheese, which is interesting, but I'm gonna melt it down on the burger in the pan, and it looks to be melting fairly quickly. At least it's not a vegan cheese that disappears because I've had my experience with some that when they melt, they almost look like they are non-existent, which is the worst. Grab my fries. These cook in like 14 minutes. So we got our fries, a little ketchup, and then our lettuce wrapped burger. All right, I've got to taste this cheese. Oh wow, very creamy. You can definitely taste that there's um, a cheesy texture. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe I don't ever want to put down this life. I could be your best friend, but I can't pick up my phone. Let it ring because no one is home. I'm always judging and degrading. I should stop all that. I'm sure I just want to be free from the free. You feel love for the first time. I just want to love something about me. See something to open my eyes. Don't want to be the only one with the house key. Have something I'm proud of. I wish we were living in my dreams. Cause in another world, you'll come with me and we be. Got some crystal water that I was marinating since this morning. So I'm on to my third 32 ounces of water for the day. Don't steep your tea too long because it can get a little bit bitter. But while I wait for that to finish up, I'm going to heat up a little bit of this almond milk creamer. This is so good, you guys. It's in the vanilla flavor. This is amazing in your coffee, but... I don't know about you, I don't know if this is weird or not, but if you love black tea, try adding a splash of creamer to it. Baby, you could keep me happy, but you've been on the road. Oh, I've never needed love so badly. 
Yep, I'm gonna get back in the bed and get some work done while I enjoy my delicious tea. A lot of cozy vibes. I don't wanna bring you down. I just wanna be free from the free. Feel love for the first time. I just wanna love something about me. What are you thinking about, babe? I think it's time for dinner. It's going on 9 o'clock by the time I whip this up. I ended up finding some shrimp in the freezer, so I'm defrosting that in some cold water. And I have some angel hair pasta. So what I'm going to do is do like a garlic butter, lemon garlic butter pasta. So spin on your traditional spaghetti. I feel like for a Friday night, this is a nice comforting meal that I can make super quick at home. Did you notice I've been lost, staying up to the break of dawn, hoping that you'll show a little warmth, but you know I feel the coldest. When I'm wrapped around your finger, did you notice that you put me through the wrinkle when you said that you need the solace that I can't offer you? I found the light in all this, something to get me through. Now every day is a challenge. Top down, blow a smoke out. It's not good for my balance. It sounds great, but I'm burnt out. Cause now the drugs aren't working. I've taken all I can, but my heart's still hurting. This can't be all I am. That's leaving me so lonely. Only left me half a man. Now the highs aren't worth it. The drugs aren't working. Did you notice? I passed you yesterday that I was frozen Thinking, flashing back, I can't live in the moment My heart's still in the past, but we ain't spoken Since you left me broken when you Said that you need the solace that I can't offer you I found the light in all this Something to get me through now every day 9.03, not too bad. I just did some cleaning up, so I'm a little bit later than I said I would be. But this is very carby. I haven't really had many carbs today. My body just loves carbs at night. I'm not afraid of carbs. Definitely need them to feed my muscle gains. So I measured out exactly four ounces of shrimp is what I had left, which was perfect. Three ounces of pasta and then one piece of sourdough bread from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna add a little drizzle of olive oil to the top of this. And I added a lot of spices and seasonings. I like spaghetti like this too. It's just a different variation of, you know, tomato based pasta sauces if you just want something a little bit more like an oiled pasta. And this is very high in fat. I'm about to plug it into my fitness pal right now so I can get my macros and stuff for the day all logged in and it's pasta time he's licking his lips mm -hmm. so this meal is about 859 calories whoop whoop yes and i worked out today so it took off a lot of calories burned versus what i've been eating i want to finally taste this oily shrimp pasta Mm. This right here, the spices. Mm. I added some smoked paprika from my grandmother's garden, and oh my god, a little bit of spice with that lemon pepper. Definitely could do a drizzle of uh, fresh lemon juice. That'll really bring out a nice, bright flavor. Wow, I've been watching way too much Food Network. Who am I?
shit. How I eat for the gains. Have a flat belly when I wake up in the morning. Ooh, abs are gonna be popping. Don't be afraid, guys, of healthy fats. Like avocado oil, olive oils, any kind of coconut oil. 